Church. This is, we're in Metropolis this week, which is different to British Grove. Obviously, it's a different studio. Very nice studio. Have a look, quick look round. A lovely control room. Lovely big, high ceiling. I've been working on a new song uh, and demoing it with Dave uh, here on guitar and vocals. I'm doing backing vocals. It's about uh, guns. <laughs> which I know nothing about, apart from the fact I don't like them much. I'm going to uh, uh, knock this together into some kind of video, which you'll see later on. And I've mainly been doing comping here, which is when you take all the different takes of, of various songs and uh, mm. put them all together on a computer to, you know, to use the best bits, as it were. And then here I've been doing odd things like percussion things and shaking my vitamin tablets around and that kind of thing. So I hope you enjoy this. Mm. More later. Bye. Two quite old ones, like 52, 56, and they they sound really great. It's weird how holding a Telecaster makes you play a certain way. Yep. Gibson 335, that makes you play a certain way. And if you hold, you know, a big body jazz guitar, a 355 or one of those, or an L5 or whatever, you end up playing more jazzy, you know, there's no yeah. question. The shape of the guitar, definitely. I always thought it was funny that Ch Chuck Berry used to kind of rock out with a great big body. He used to play big body Gibson sometimes. Section at the very end of the song, you know, like bum, 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 not filling it in with the guitar, maybe it's born on Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. 